<laughs> what Governor Walls put his pen to, $21 million, is a symbol of unity and determination to stay ahead of a contagious virus that has transfixed the nation. It is so important. We do, we do have tools, and this bill gives us some of the tools to help to manage uh, the evolution of this epidemic in Minnesota. Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm will have the flexibility to use the money where it's needed most, and that's a moving target. Information on the virus, how it is spread, how dangerous it is, for whom, is still rapidly evolving. Part of the money will go to testing, also investigations into how patients caught the virus and who they've had contact with since catching it. And part of it will go to local public health agencies like the eight regional health councils that work with the state. We came to that estimate by estimating the number of hours of MDH staff that will need to be taken off of other work and devoted to this COVID response. The hope is that supplies like masks for health workers will come from the federal government strategic stockpile. But I want to remind people that we shouldn't fear this. We should look at the science behind uh, the decisions we make and move forward. And, and like the leaders of old, I want to just remind the public uh, you know, to stay calm and carry on. Now, this is not the last we'll hear from the legislature on coronavirus. We'll probably see a bill that would help employers handle the economic disruption of this outbreak, as well as employees, those workers who are told to stay home if they're sick, but can't afford to go without a paycheck. At the Capitol, I'm John Croman.